Hey, Dave, can you hear me okay? Okay, if, if needed, I can just get started, man. I don't want to cut you off. Okay, hey, uh, good morning. I, I think Dave is uh, having problems. So Dave, if you need to interrupt me uh, at any time, just please do. Uh, otherwise, I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm Jason Avram, uh, one of the program managers. Thanks, Dave. Uh, one of the program managers at Skyward Federal. Um, I'm going to give you a quick uh, capabilities brief of what our uh, small, uh, you know, small company does uh, and what it can do uh, for the Navy uh, or for any of our industry partners uh, as we look to partner. Let's see. Okay, so here's what I'm going to cover real quick. Just a little bit of our background, primary competencies, um, some ongoing projects. But what I'd like to focus on is a data transfer agent as a service uh, capability, um, which I think is something, um, you know, with, with my time in the military uh, and just kind of what I've seen, um, being able to transfer uh, data messages from low to high and obviously from high to low is something that affects everybody. So I'll cover that uh, Quite a bit, uh, and then go through a little bit of our personnel, just kind of what we uh, what we provide as a as a small company. Uh, so, real quick, uh, Skyward Federal was formed back in 2019. Uh, it was formed by I think about three individuals, who um, including our owner uh, Matt Peters, who may or may not be on this call. Um, but um, they were formed basically because the government had a problem uh, and we had an innovative way of solving that problem. Uh, and so uh, started out with three people and over uh, you know the last uh, three years or so, we've grown to about 30 uh, or so now of you know real highly you know highly skilled, highly qualified, I would say you know software ninjas, so to speak, um, who are you know a, a bunch of cleared people uh, up to you know TS level and higher uh, who are, are very good at what, what we do, you know agile DevSecOps um, based in Boston uh, and we also have locations uh, of secure facilities um, in Colorado Springs and in Arlington, Virginia. Um, the innovation um, is really why we were formed. Um, it's uh, what we pride ourselves on, uh, innovative thinking, uh, efficient collaboration, uh, user experience driven design, um, really getting into our users um, business uh, and you know so we can best understand what they need uh, from a from a value perspective make sure we provide the, the best value and do that in an iterative approach uh, in a rapid approach in an agile approach using agile scrum uh, to give them uh, something that meets their need in a in a min viable product um, basis and then iter you know iterating towards that um, uh, more, um, you know, in constantly improving uh, capabilities. Um, we leverage, um, you know, like I said, Agile Scrum. Uh, we, you know, use all of the best, um, you know, commercial tools, FOSS tools, uh, open source tools, uh, and a development environment that is um, multi-level secure uh, across uh, several environments uh, and leveraging that continuous, uh, uh, continuous integration, continuous deployment pipeline. We try to leverage this again, like I said, by uh, getting after uh, our users' uh, uh, needs, uh, getting after their wants, making sure we understand that, uh, and then pushing towards a min viable capability as soon as possible, and then iterating on that via the, the Scrum uh, methodology. Uh, so uh, it, the the short story is we're experts in cloud-based, uh, multi-level software development environments, uh, CSD pipelines, not only using them but establishing them, uh, and I would. Um, argue that we're one of the very few uh, that have established those pipelines and those development environments in multiple uh, classification levels with the ability to uh, transfer uh, the data uh, between those uh, environments. Uh, so this is, uh, I'll just go quickly over some of those primary competencies, um, secure cloud infrastructure management. Uh, so that's really our bread and butter. Um, 
we um, provide a multi-level infrastructure as a service. Uh, currently, we're doing that in an AWS uh, and a GovCloud um, environment at higher classification levels. But our expertise certainly isn't um, isn't limited by by uh, that environment. We're extensible to you know other cloud environments like Azure or Google Cloud. Uh, data storage and data processing, uh, the uh, couple of programs that we are working right now for our users, um, you know, involves really terabytes of, of data over time that we are storing, um, that we are storing, we are processing, um, uh, and we are analyzing uh, for our customers. Uh, like I mentioned, and I'll mention, I'll, I'll go into more detail later, um, data transport is one of our key competencies, uh, the ability to go um, uh, take uh, information uh, and transfer it from uh, low to high uh, classification up to and including TS. Um, and then, um, you know, with high to low, I would say imminently uh, capable. Um, that, that is um, our goal for the end of this year. Um, Multi-level security platforms I already mentioned uh, and uh, data analytics and data science. Um, we, um, for the customers that we support, um, it, it is, like I said, literally terabytes of data. Um, the ability to um, uh, analyze that data um, using, you know, the best, um, you know, kind of open source uh, analytics tools, uh, machine learning, uh, and, uh, and provide that in a way that they can um, ingest and, and use them, uh, use to um, help support their decision making processes um, is, is kind of the name of the game for us in supporting them. Uh, and then lastly, um, like I mentioned, we have about uh, little under 30 uh, now um, software uh, developers, um, very good at, uh, you know, either creating very rapid uh, software applications um, and, and de delivering that in a min viable uh, product, uh, or um, taking uh, capabilities that are already, uh, you know, uh, applications that uh, just need to be, um, you know, improved upon, uh, made cloud native, uh, and, and we do that very well. Uh, we do have ongoing projects. Um, we we uh, support an other transaction agreement uh, with a customer in DC, uh, and through that, um, support a couple of DC-based uh, customers uh, for um, for things that that are listed here: multi-level data processing, which I already uh, mentioned, uh, creation, storage, retrieval, movement, and protection of large volumes of of data, both classified and unclassified. Uh, in that, we also provide that environment to uh, third party developers. So we are the uh, infrastructure as a service provider of those environments for uh, other uh, developers to you know, take those environments, take those pipelines, take those tools uh, and use it to um, deliver uh, government uh, capabilities. Uh, Cross-domain data transfer, I'll, I'll get more into that in just a second, but that is that data transfer agent that I mentioned. Uh, and then uh, secure software development. Um, we leverage uh, Kubernetes-based uh, uh, environments uh, and CSD pipelines, uh, which allows us to be very agile, very scalable. Uh, the data transfer agent, I'll go into a little bit more detail now. So uh, the data transfer agent, really, it, it is not a cross-domain solution. It, it is uh, a system that encapsulates multiple uh, cross-domain um, solutions. Uh, it provides a, a common uh, interface uh, to uh, leverage, uh, you know, basically analyze uh, the data, analyze the environment uh, that our, our user is operating in and what they need, and then uses um, that um, via an, uh, an abstraction layer uh, to, um, to utilize the best cross-domain solution that fits uh, the needs of the situation. Um, uh, you know, it, it basically, um, it, it, if you look at that, uh, that lower left-hand column, uh, those are the three main um, applications. Uh, you can incorporate the data transfer agent right into your software development pipeline. So it really becomes just part of your, um, you know, continuous integration, continuous deployment uh, capability of your pipeline. Uh, you can also do uh, one-off transfers where a, um, a user on one end reaches out to um, uh, Skyward um, as the data transfer agent um, 
managers, uh, and then we we can push uh, um, stuff from low to high and eventually high to low for them uh, based on an as needed basis. And then also uh, we have an end to end user console um, that allows people to, to manage that those transfers for themselves. Um, so uh, current status it currently supports uh, data transfers of any type, um, you know, either using a, a standard or an enhanced um, capability right now, standard being, you know, kind of constrained to specific file types, uh, enhanced, which obviously um, is a little pricier, um, is any any type of file uh, can be um, can be moved. Uh, can currently supports low to high transfers only. Uh, as I mentioned, um, high to low uh, transfers are, I would say, are uh, fairly imminent. Um, we have been working on that for for quite some time and are about to turn the corner there. Um, and then uh, expected to add uh, services um, here uh, in this quarter uh, or early next quarter is um, not just uh, the ability to transfer data, but the ability to transfer messages, uh, both uh, low to high and high to low uh, should be uh, very quick. Uh, so now I'll talk real quick about data transfer uh, agent as a service. And one thing I'd like to mention is we've um, we do this currently for our um, our current customers. Uh, just in um, just in 2022, since January, we've um, uh, transferred about 11 and a half terabytes of data uh, for them, uh, thousands of, of transfer requests. Uh, so this is working. We've we've used that to um, try to bound you know from a expectation management perspective certain um, prices so people can understand kind of what this service would cost but i just want to caveat that uh, really this begins with sitting down right our integration team would sit down with any uh, potential um, user of this uh, understand their environments understand their cybersecurity environment specifically uh, and put together a tailored approach for incorporating this so uh, just take take the prices with a grain of salt. It's really just there to kind of give you uh, an idea of the scope and size. Uh, so uh, overview, kind of what it sounds like, uh, data transfer agent is uh, an, an full end-to-end -end offering of the data transfer agent service, uh, but trying to do it at an enterprise level where multiple programs, uh, contractors, or, or different entities can really leverage this and get that um, um, reduction in cost at scale capability. Um, we have ways to provide um, kind of rapid contracting. We've been spending some time thinking through that. Uh, there's lots of different, um, you know, opportunities from a, you know, government-wide uh, acquisition contracts that are available to, you know, OTs that you can leverage other transactions that you can leverage. Uh, so that should not be a problem. Uh, here's the the basic uh, tiered infrastructure. So um, we have, um, like I mentioned, low to high transfer capability. So so in short, basically the first thing you do is set up the the uh, infrastructure, the infrastructure connections. You can set that up for a basic or a premier service. Basic uh, providing. Um, that capability for a full suite of message and, and uh, a pre-approved data file set. So that's that standard um, and, uh, diode. Um, that is a little bit less expensive, really. Uh, um, you know, if you want dedicated infrastructure, we're talking anywhere from uh, 250 to 500K a year uh, to make that connection. Uh, and then uh, if you're, you know, want to do it more of a shared approach, um, we will be uh, you, you know, obviously you get some of that economies of scale. It's really dependent on your, um, you know, on a user's needs. Um, the DTA Premier allows you to capture that full enhanced diode. That's, you know, any kind of a data uh, file that you want to uh, transfer can be transferred that way. And then obviously that is a little bit more costly, uh, leverages some um, uh, commercial um, capabilities that we that cost a little more. Uh, along with that infrastructure connection, uh, we would provide uh, some um, customer uh, success support. Um, you know, we lo looking at what we provide to our current customers. Usually, about thirty hours uh, um, a month uh, between uh, tier one and two, and then tier uh, three type support. Um, and, uh, you know, depending on how quickly you want your response to be, will drive a little different price. Uh, and then once the connection and the service is established, which 
uh, should be, uh, depending on complexity, you know, can be very quickly, you know, a month or less, or can be uh, a little bit um, longer based on the complexity, based on the um, cybersecurity environment. Uh, and then as you start to transfer, it's really just a pay-as-you-go type of a service where uh, you pay based on the number of gigabytes of service that are transferred. And again, um, that is, uh, you know, first thing we would do is sit down with the user, make sure we fully understand uh, the, the environment. So the, this is, uh, in, in effect, what the uh, process would look like to establish this for a new uh, customer. Uh, first off, we our integration team, which includes a couple of DTA um, uh, engineers uh, and a cybersecurity uh, engineer, would sit down with the user, understand the environment, understand, um, you know, um, the, uh, the, the data needs, uh, uh, the uh, cybersecurity environment, uh, whether it's an on-prem or a, already a cloud um, you know, environment, really understand how the integration would happen. Then we develop that integration plan that's tailored to that specific user uh, and their needs based on, you know, what, you know, what operational considerations they may have. Uh, then we, um, you know, really want to make sure we understand the accreditation path, uh, understand how we can leverage our current uh, risk management framework body of evidence to get that AT or reciprocity for the new environment. And then we would deliver that quote uh, and, and really get to work um, based, on, um, based on the customer's um, uh, needs. Uh, so this is the the uh, bottom line. Uh, I think there's there's a couple of different use cases. Just I mean, easy. There's so many use cases. A couple of different ones. You know, there's lots of things that are sneaker netted right now into and out of secure facilities. That uh, this would uh, help to uh, eliminate that. Uh, also, um, you know, any kind of uh, software development that happens unclassified that you then have to push into a classified environment. This would help with that because you can process not only um, data like Word docs, PDFs, you can also uh, transfer um, Docker images, uh, code. Um, so this really would solve a lot of problems that I know are prevalent across you know, all services uh, in all industries. Um, this is just real quick, um, just a quick picture of our Skyward personnel. Um, we have a, a good group of folks who are mostly cleared to yes or higher. Uh, and some points of contact uh, if anybody's uh, interested in reaching out. So uh, that's it for me, uh, Dave. I know there's no Q&A today, but uh, that's all I have. If you have any closing remarks. All right, thanks, Dave.